Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we have a short follow along training session where we're gonna be focusing on combining moving forward and backwards with our offense and a touch of defense in between. Basically everything that you need to be doing in sparring to be an effective fighter, to improve your skill level, jump in, follow along, and have some fun with this training session. Our sponsor for today's episode is X Martial. These guys are doing more for the martial arts community than anybody else I know. They're traveling right now across the states in an RV, hitting up all the different gyms and cities, meeting people, giving away gear. They sponsor so many athletes, including myself and this channel. Awesome company, fantastic gear, so well made. I've trained in these ones for I think over a year and a half, two years now, and they just look and feel still brand new. Make sure you head over there, link in the description below, and save 10% with my promo code Gabriel Varga. So I think for today, I just wanna give you guys five different combos. We're gonna work them going forward. We're gonna work them going backwards. We'll take tiny little breaks in between, and I'll give you a few little pointers on each combination and what we wanna be doing to make it as high level as possible. Probably about five, six, seven minutes in total. So the first one that I want us doing is pushing forward on the initial movement. So we blast forward. We can then plant with the idea that our opponent has stood their ground. We go one, two, three, jab, cross, jab. We're then gonna imagine they counter with a cross. We block down the middle and come back with our own cross. That's all I want, forward. One, two, three, block, cross. And then we'll go backwards as well. We push away, one, two, three, block, cross. When you do the block, you're trying to get your hand up to the outside of the head and lift the elbow. This way now I can block any straight punches that come at head level, but I'm also blocking any overhand or right hooks that come towards me. We're gonna put one minute on the clock. We're gonna work this one back and forward, back and forward, and let's go. And that's time there. What we're gonna do is we're going to make each little combo progressively harder, a little bit more challenging. For our next one, I want us not pushing forward and planting our feet, but actually moving forward during the whole combo. When you guys do this, make sure it's lead with the front foot if you're going forward, and then back foot gets to the position that puts you back in your ideal stance. Forward, back, forward, back, or the opposite. You lead with the back foot and the front foot follows. Always finish in a proper stance. I don't want to end up coming to here and being in a really narrow stance to move forward because if they attack right now, I'm not in an ideal place. I'm better off extending and being a little bit stronger. So we're not non-stop pace moving forward. We're gonna have, let's go double jab, cross upper, finish with the front kick. And then at the end, I just want us to do a little pop back as a defense move, all right? Again, pushing forward, double jab, cross upper, and then into that front kick and a little push back. And then when we go backwards, we're gonna do the double jab, cross upper, the front kick, and then we'll pop forward. This gives us more time to do the combo as well, but it's good to learn to change directions. One minute on the clock and let's go.
And time there. All right, next one, gonna be a little bit less orthodox, a little bit odd. We're gonna come with check off the back leg. So we're blocking the left round kick, boom. And then from there we come with the round kick off the same leg, round kick into a knee, into a cross. And then round, round kick knee off the left leg, little skip, boom. And then into that knee. So let's go again. I block, boom, I round kick, I knee, I cross, I round kick, and I knee. And you can see I'm trying to progress forward the entire time. So my footwork needs to be, I throw my round kick, I incorporate a little skip here to move forward. I land, I get to my cross, I skip my feet to move forward to my round kick, and then again I skip to throw my knee. So I have that constant progression forward. We're not gonna try and do this one backwards, just change directions and just go forward as we work back and forward across the room. All right, and let's go. All right, there we go. Let's move on to the next one. This one's gonna be tricky and you're gonna to have to really put your thinking cap on. So when somebody throws a jab at us, one of the parries or one of the defenses we can do is parrying. Just tap it to the side if they're an orthodox fighter. What I want us to do is come from the parry to our own jab. And then we're gonna rattle off three uppercuts, alternating arms, start with the back. One, two, three, come with a left hook and a cross. So let's run through that again. We go parry to our own jab. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna roll under an imaginary hook and then come cross to the body hook. Again, parry, throw the jab, five fast punches, roll under, cross body hook. Now we have to do this progressing forward. It doesn't need to be that the whole time we're moving forward, you can pick. Pick and choose on this one when you wanna move forward. You could be like, okay, I'm gonna, parry and then push forward and then stand my ground and then push forward on the the jump um, after the slip you could do that you could do a constant little step forward if you wanted the whole time doesn't really matter just make sure you're doing forwards and then on this one yes we are going to have some backwards motion show motion so it could be they throw the jab and i move away and then i go to my combo maybe again i roll back as i throw that little duck in I just take that little step. So let's get through this whole thing and go. Okay, last combo. Pushing forward or backwards, whichever direction, we're moving with our jab, cross, jab. Ba, ba, ba. Right from there, we're gonna throw a lead leg front kick. We're gonna drop. We're gonna imagine they come with a head level round kick. We hollow backwards with the upper head, or sorry, tip backwards with the head, and then we come with our own low kick. So forward, one, two, three, little front kick, 
fade back, come with the low kick. Or I'm moving backwards, one, two, three, stop them, slip, and then throw the low kick. Last one, and let's go. All right, guys, there we go. A little mix of that offense, touch of defense, and that forward and backwards motion. If you do that type of drilling by yourself, I think you'll find you're gonna have more success just in your regular shadow boxing. All of a sudden, just adding that backwards and forwards movement while incorporating the defense and the offense. And this will assist you greatly when you go in for sparring. So let's call it there. Thanks for joining me today. As always, train hard. I'll see you back here soon for another video.